Hello and welcome to Polymer Update. This is Simran Chaudhary and you're watching Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free Petra Chemicals news show. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Pune-based Shini. Let's start with energy news. Crude futures inched higher on Tuesday on the back of surprise drop in US crude and gasoline inventories. WTI prices climbed at $56.87, a gain of $0.08 cents per barrel while Brent finished at $66.67, a rise of $0.09 cents per barrel. According to Vandana Hari of Panda Insights, crude prices were higher once again in the Asian morning, albeit marginally after an industry body reported an unexpected decline in US crude inventories for last week. The upward momentum was being countered by investor concerns over fresh Brexit uncertainties reflected in a sea of red ink across the early opening Asian equity markets. Open spec NAFTA prices also gained at the 550 US dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels, a day on day increase of 7 US dollars per metric ton. Moving on to the Asian market update for PP, PE, and PVC in PP. PP prices climbed in Far East Asia and India by 5 to 10 US dollars per metric ton this week. Prices gained mainly on account of stronger import offers from overseas suppliers and deals concluded at higher price levels in the region. Reports of limited product availability further supported the price rise. In Southeast Asia, PP prices remained stable. The purchase pulse was reported as steady amid bullish import offers from overseas producers. In polyethylene this week, HTPE prices in the Far East and Southeast Asian regions were assessed steady. Buying trends remain stable in the region. Certain HTPE grade prices edged higher in India by 10 US dollars per metric ton amid firmer import offers from overseas suppliers. LTPE prices in Far East Asia and India witnessed a gain of 10 to 20 US dollars per metric ton this week. Prices firmed as product availability continued to remain tight, coupled with strong buying sentiments in the region. In Southeast Asia, prices of LDPE remain steady. This week, LLDPE prices in Far East Asia, Southeast Asia and India were assessed stable. Product availability was reported as sufficient in the region. In PVC, this week, PVC prices in China and India dropped by 5 to 10 US dollars per metric ton. Prices slipped mainly on account of persistent bearish demand trends in the region. In India, Formosa of Taiwan is expected to announce its PVC resin suspension grade offers for April 2019 shipment by early next week. In Southeast Asia, prices of PVC quotes steady this week. The buying momentum, however, remains dull in the region. In domestic market news, in market rumors, most market players are of the opinion that PP, PE and PVC prices are likely to be rolled over by domestic producers this week. Polymer Update has introduced news and price analysis on Amazon Alexa virtual assistant using Echo and other devices. The platform lets subscribers check latest news and prices just by asking Echo or any other Alexa enabled device. This is the first of its kind on Amazon Alexa, so do read the kind of questions that you can ask to Amazon Alexa about Polymer Update. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Pune-based Shini, a globally renowned company with an excellent track record offering the best in customer satisfaction. The company offers plastics auxiliary equipment designed and manufactured using its 50 years of experience in the field. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. It is Wednesday, March 13th. I am Suman Chaudhary. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Polymer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.